Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, um, that guy, man. I'm back, man. You guys gotta subscribe. We're trying to get to at least 500 subscribers, man. So subscribe. Subscribe, man. Share it with your friends. We're trying to grow the cult. We're trying to grow this pyramid scheme. And if you want to be the creme de la creme, the top of the top, the pharaoh amongst the peasants, you got to subscribe, man. You got to be the first ones to do it so we could be the first ones to do it. Let's just get into the video, man. Top 10 most outrageous dishes from the worst cooks in America. Chat, let's just get into this video, man. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm just going to be honest with you. Yo, if I see this bruh in my kitchen, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm assuming I'm being robbed. I'm assuming he's cooking up heads. I'm assuming he's on some Jeffrey Dahmer type time. He don't look like the type of dude to just be eating regular food. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right, what's in here? It's like peanut and chocolate candy. It's awful. He quit said I, I feel like when people do this shit, they quit essentially don't know, like, how things how things are made they don't know how to wash dishes they don't know how to do their laundry they, this is something foreign <laughs> so you just took a whole chicken put it in the oven no i boiled it you boiled you boiled a whole chicken dude is this a joke show the chicken yeah. <laughs> is this is this like are you purposely trying to make like shitty food or what's the purpose of this show i'm so confused okay. And then you put a slice of cheese to let it melt over it. Oh my lord. Carbonara and Alfredo are two very different dishes. Oh, they're ramen noodles. Yes! I feel you. Oh, 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 oh. So the pasta. I'm a pasta you lover. Me. I don't understand what you're doing. You made a salad and then cooked ramen. I don't know, bro. I'm going to roll the turkey balls in the oatmeal to give them a chew. Oh my a God. chew? A chew? I feel like you don't understand how things are supposed to taste. I feel like you don't understand, like, like how basic things, like, I don't trust these people to pour a bowl of cereal. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust. If I ask them to give me a cup of water, I wouldn't trust it. I literally wouldn't trust it. That looks like something that a dog left on the sidewalk outside my house. That is college dorm chili. You haven't cooked since you were in college? College dorm chili. College dorm chili. What in that whole sentence actually made it seem like that was going to be something of any quality? No. Forget about tasting it. I couldn't even look at it. <gasps> look at this guy. Oh my god, he's pouring boiling water into, into, the, plastic into the package. Bag. We call it a jailhouse burrito because in jail you don't really get that much. And this is another thing, right? This is another thing when, when people start cooking and making meals. I don't want nothing from the struggle. I want nothing where there was some type of adversity being faced. I don't want nothing where where people were at their wits end and had to eat anything. Because when they eat anything, they eat anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want nothing where people were were starving. I want I want food when things were plentiful. You know what I'm saying? But the harvest was bountiful. Or you know, when when people's bellies were full. That's when I want the food coming from. I don't want no damn jailhouse. I want the makeshift. The artistry of, 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 I don't want none of that. But you do have ramen noodles. He's going to wrap, wrap it in a paper, paper towel. towel. Oh, ah, of course. It's all about the wrapping. Put some weight on it, so it forms. Now he's giving some pressure. <laughs> this is why they call it a jailhouse burrito right here. Boom. I make meatloaf in shape. I'm just like, please don't bring anything of, 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 of jailhouse quality, bro. Yeah cartoon characters and woodland animals you don't i would hate to be in this house bro i always hate to be in this house meat is not for for you to anamorphosize into different animals that's like if you're making a, a cake go ahead you know take your best shot 
Maybe if you maybe if you're making a candy, sweets are for the anamorphic type of means. Meat. I promise you, it's gonna turn out like shit. I promise you. It tastes good. At least it could be fun to look at. It's hell, hell on this earth, hell on this earth. If I saw this, I would instantly know I've committed some grievous sin and I've been transported straight to the depths of hell. Eleventh layer. They probably made their own floor for me. They said you have committed a sin amongst no other man, and this is what you must bear through. I, it's a teddy bear I, meat. No pun. No pun intended. Oh, this is, without a question, hands down, the worst meatloaf I've ever had in my entire life. I made um, a three cheese macaroni and cheese. That's straight up from Kraft. I, 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 I know those type of noodles, bruh. That's Kraft macaroni, so don't say no three-level macaroni and cheese, because that shit barely has one. That's .5 of a level. A quarter. You know what I'm saying? That barely counts as, that barely counts as cheese as it is. The cheeses are cheddar, cottage cheese, and smoke. She said cottage cheese. I you you said a three layer cheese, and you said cottage cheese. Are you are you dumb? Are you slow? Cottage cheese, bro. You might as well take the cheese from out your damn nose and put it up in there. Get the cheese in between your toes and put it up in there. Get, get the Cheeto dust from off. I would much appreciate if you just grab Cheetos and just crumble them up in there. That would that would meet would be a substance, a more viable substance than cottage cheese. No gouda. And gouda. Cottage. That was the worst macaroni and cheese I've ever had in my life. Oh, I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat it. Just buy her three less of ingredients. I'm like, pass. What makes you the worst cook? Tomorrow cook with dog food. God, oh my God, this I out this I know I said I was in the bottom, I was I was cursed, but if I saw somebody said I'm gonna cook with dog food, I'm assuming this is this has to be against the Geneva Convention. The Articles of War state I have to be treated with some type of decency. You know what I'm saying? Like a human what? being. That's her favorite ingredient. What? That's her favorite ingredient. I'm sick. This is my favorite brand. <laughs> Your favorite brand? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have prepared a rainbow shrimp skier with a vegetable medley. Sprinkles are good on everything. Uh, yeah, fentanyl is not good for it. Like, I, I swear to y'all, y'all on crack. And all the the opium epidemic is reaching a new limit in the United States, and we just need to tackle it. Because the second it starts getting into the food, it, it it's it's becoming too much. It's becoming too much. It's getting into the food. It's getting into the water. It's turning the the frogs gay. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's getting too damn much out here, bro. <sighs> this is like cooking in an insane asylum. <laughs> an insane asylum. Shit. At least these people know they crazy. In the same asylum, at least them people know they crazy. These people out here. <laughs> these people out in the street. Out in the street. Free to roam around with the rest of us. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. If I see that on the... I'm going to throw the whole thing in the trash. I'm burning down the kitchen. Jeez, I'm bread. What was she making? What was she making? Bro. Bro, she was that was a witch's brew right up in there. Chat, let's reverse on the play. <laughs> that that right there is witch's brew. That's peas pours hot peas pours cold. Peas pours in the pot. That's about 9 days old. I ain't going to hold you, man. That's that's grotesque. I'm sorry I had to introduce you to that because guess what, chat? We're moving on, man.